Hey guys, welcome back to AX3 Gaming. My name is Alec and welcome back to another episode of Journey Wrestling. If you guys didn't catch that last episode, we booked a couple episodes of NXT leading up to NXT TakeOver The End. And we have a couple feuds going into it, some big triple threat action. So make sure you go back and watch those episodes. The entire playlist is linked in the description. Also, before we get started here, guys, can you do two things for me? First, hit that like button if you're enjoying my content. It does help me out a lot. Also, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell as well so you do not miss an episode whenever I upload. You will be notified. And without further ado, guys, let's get right back into booking NXT TakeOver The End. Last episode, we booked a lot of stuff. We got NXT TakeOver The End today, as I mentioned. Still, everybody's injured, of course. Why not? Uh, we're still trying to finalize a deal on Peyton Royce and recruit Shotzi Blackheart, get a couple more women onto my roster. I think this is this is the last show of the year, yeah. So I don't know what's going to happen at the end of this show. I feel like a bunch of stuff is like, because it says yearly negotiations, available call-ups, and then goal reviews. So I don't know what that means. I guess we're going to find out. Also, a couple people in the comment section helped me out a lot. <laughs> Um, I said, I think last episode of the episode before that I couldn't book a tournament for the title on the pay-per-view and I was completely wrong. I, I could, um, I just did it wrong. So I figured out how to do that. So in the future, if we want to book tournaments, I know how to do that now. And another thing is I don't need to write down in my OVO God's plan Drake book. I don't need to write down the rivalries anymore because there's a section here under dashboard, no, under manage company and feuds. And we have all our feuds here. If we click one, it tells us exactly what's going on in that feud. So here's all my feuds and um, yeah, Tony Storm versus, yeah, yeah. So all these down here are old, except for Aleister Black versus Kevin Owens, which is they're gonna have their last match tonight. So I can see basically everything they've done uh, down to gimmick and uh, everything, like what they, what they, any interaction they've had with each other. Purple is segments, orange is, finishes and okay it doesn't tell me the stipulation uh it does tell me sorry but it doesn't highlight the stipulation which is kind of annoying but that's okay uh we'll figure it out okay i feel like i was gonna say something else but i forgot uh and look my highest rivalry is for the nxc north american championship we got no rivalries at 200 right now which is okay this braun Strowman and big e one is still pretty fresh um so it's going to be a not bad show tonight. I don't know if it's going to like blow anyone's socks off, but let's find out. Okay, so singles, uh, we're going to go Adam Cole, Braun Strowman, and Big E. Book that. So there's a triple threat match. We got two feuds going in it for the NXT World Championship. We'll add a gimmick to this as well. Not unsanctioned. Not a, maybe a ladder. Might be cool. What if... Okay, let's see. Let's go look at our... Uh... The only problem with this is that like, I have to go back and forth, which is kind of annoying where my book was right there and I can just look at it whenever I want. And then also when I get, when I start the card, like I hit play, um, I can't go back and look anymore. So I kind of have to remember everything. Um, maybe the book is better. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'll figure out what I want to do. I don't think repeating a gimmick does anything. I haven't experienced any issues with that yet. I was just assuming that repeating a gimmick match in a rivalry um, would mess it up, but I don't think it does. Uh, oh, okay. So the so the grayed out, I guess, is is the gimmick. Um, all they've had is a war games match. So let's just book this uh, as a. We can do basically anything. Let's just do a street fight. Yeah, because there's a specific reason I want to do that. Um, which I can't really do in the game, but I can kind of explain to you guys if I was a real booker, like what I'd be doing. So um, I'll, I'll probably explain to you when we get to the match. But uh, anyway, uh, what's our tag team feud? It's not very good, right? It's it's B-Day versus Dreamy Boys at a pretty low rating there. You know what I'm thinking is since I've accidentally pushed Ray Phoenix, <laughs> it just seems like Ray Phoenix was in the right place at the right time all the time. And he, and he got like super over now and he's, he's a main eventer. He's in a tag team with Apollo Crews, who's my bottom, uh, upper or mid Carter, my bottom mid Carter on the show. So I wonder if I start the chase for the tag team championships for them, if Ray Phoenix is going to pull Apollo up to his level or if it's going to like balance out somewhere in the middle or if Apollo is going to bring Ray Phoenix down. I'm not sure. I guess we can try that out next month and see what happens. Let's book our next match here. Alistair Black versus Kevin Owens. This is going to be the last match in their rivalry. They are getting stale. And what matches have they had? So they've done a steel cage match and an I quit match. So we got to do something different or maybe we have to do something different. Who knows? Does that if, if someone knows this for a fact, 
Like someone watching this video knows for a fact that gimmick repeating a gimmick either does bad or does good. Can you or or does nothing? Sorry. Can you uh, just let me know in the comments because I don't feel like messing up my universe. Oh, this is what I wanted to say. I wanted to say this earlier and I forgot. And then I said I wanted to say something and I forgot. And now I remember. Um, I created a second world with the same scenario. I created created a backup one. Uh, not not of the same. Th not I didn't repeat the same. Uh, whatever that i have here the same the exact same scenario it's the same scenario but i did it differently i that's not the point the point is i made another one which is the same scenario <laughs> so i can try things without messing up my universe here so maybe i'll try that maybe in, in that backup universe i'll just uh i'll just do like five gimmick matches in a row and see if it dings me for some reason. Okay, perfect. So <laughs> add gimmick. Um, they've had a pretty, let's give them an Iron Man match. They deserve it for their big rivalry here. Uh, Tony Storm versus Rhea Ripley, which is getting hot, 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 which is great. I'll give them a gimmick as well. Uh, not a hair versus hair match. Last man standing. Beautiful. Okay, so that's those are my top three matches on the card. Uh, Johnny Gargano versus Ray Phoenix will get booked as well as a regular match and then B-Day versus Dreamy Boys will also get booked um, Sorry, I just need to double check if anything needs to get blown off. Okay, so nothing gets blown off except for the North American Championship Which is kind of nice. So I don't need to start many feuds next show But I, I need to make sure I don't stack them up again So these are my these are my five base matches that I know or four four. No, this is five five base matches that I know I want to do. Uh, is there anyone else I want to book who's not booked? So Randy Orton and Killian Dane are both not booked out of my main eventers. Upper mid carters, I couldn't care less. Yeah, look at all the people that get injured. Damn it, these are all main eventers too. Like, it's so crazy. Like, I have five, I have five full matches booked on this card, and I still have two main eventers left over, and I have four main eventers injured. So, I'm not saying I know how to push people, but <laughs> just saying. Okay. Let me do main event hype. Do something good, brother. Don't pull down my stars, brother. Okay, so I think this is a perfectly built card as well. Okay, so for NXT TakeOver, the end. Dun dun dun. Oh, you got, we're gonna start off the show with a main event package um, to hype the main event. And then moving on, we got uh, Dreamy Boys versus B-Day in their tag team championship match. After that, Ray Phoenix is gonna challenge for Johnny Gargano's cr newly won Cruiserweight Championship. Uh, middle of the show, we got Rhea Ripley versus Tony Storm in a last man standing match. Uh, after that, we got Kevin Owens versus Aleister Black in an Iron Man match for the North American Championship. Sorry, Tony Storm versus Rhea Ripley for the Women's Championship. I don't think I said that. And then in the main event, we got Big E versus Braun Strowman versus Adam Cole for the World Heavyweight Championship. Or the NXT World Championship, sorry. And a street fight. Pretty good, pretty good. Okay, let's get into it, guys. NXT presents NXT TakeOver The End live tonight in front of a fully packed audience. Fan interest is high for the event, which is headline versus Braun Strowman versus Adam Cole versus Big E for the North America... Nope. For the World Championship in a street fight. Uh, one of the most anticipated matches of the night is Aleister Black versus Kevin Owens for the North American Championship in an Iron Man match. Other matches that have fans buzzing is Tony Storm versus Rhea Ripley for the Women's Championship in a last man standing match. And Johnny Gargano versus Ray Phoenix for the Cruiserweight Championship. Continue to see our predictions and look at this triangular formation poster. Yeah, I'm realizing at first I used to say they're nice and like, oh, this is this is a nice little addition, but they're all the same. They're just literally a random color, the name, and then a random amalgamation of superstars in some shape. Okay, <laughs> let's continue on here. Oh yeah, so the predictions, right? Alex Graham has his predictions for this event. Uh, NXT Championship, Big E wins the title. Uh, North American Championship, Aleister Black retains. Tony Storm retains. Uh, there's a 60% chance Johnny Gargano retains and 40% chance Ray Phoenix wins. And then B-Day is going to retain. A lot of retaining, except for the World Championship on this card they're predicting. Do good to me for the video package. Okay, three and a half stars. That's okay. But it, it added 10, um, 10 feud points, which is, which is nice. I, the world championship feud was not where i wanted it to be going into this match although it's like it is a new it is a new rivalry so there's not much else to expect but i was hoping it could be a little bit hotter so that's good that we got those points let's continue for the tag team championships oh crap a do i didn't check the finishes so this is the problem with having to look at oh can i go to manage no please finish current action okay uh so this is the problem with having 
to go back to that other tab to see the finishes and stuff because if i repeat a finish i know i get in trouble so i'm not gonna do a finish here uh just because i didn't even look at them and i didn't plan on it anyway so b-day uh oh four and a four and, oh and their rivalry's hot i don't know where with 22 points and a four and a one quarter star uh, um feud between b-day and dreamy boys became hot okay jeff hardy is getting over or got over jeff hardiness increased to over uh dreamy boys and b-day put on a hot match good b-day is on the way to becoming face the company okay a lot happened in that match jesus here we go uh johnny gargano versus ray phoenix for the cruiserweight championship i feel like i've done a cheating thing already so i'm just gonna have johnny gargano re win this Ooh, five and a half star match another half star for crowd interest seven points of their feed still not hot which is a little odd because they had such a hot match ray phoenix and johnny gargano put on a hot match boosting their overness okay johnny gargano is on his way to become the face of the company i'm gonna have like 20 faces of the company it doesn't even make any sense Okay, let's continue on here. Rhea Ripley versus Tony Storm. I'll have Tony Storm retain her title here. I'm trying to think. Oh God! Wow, another five and one quarter star. Wow, go off, guys. Come on. <laughs> Maybe we'll make this into like a five star, six star show. That would be crazy. Uh, I can't get six stars. I haven't even got a six star match so far, but maybe a five star show would be cool. I don't think, I'm trying to think if I had Tony Storm as the women's championship. As a women's champion at one point, or this is the first time she's a champion. I'm pretty sure Rhea had the title. I don't know. I don't, I can't even remember what happened last week. Okay. And they're a huge uh, match here in an Iron Man match to finish their rivalry here. Aleister Black versus Kevin Owens. Nothing down here. Oh yeah, last man standing increased. Tony Storm is on her way to becoming the face of the company. That's it. Okay. To finish off their feud, Kevin Owens versus Aleister Black, their four-month-long feud for the NXT North American Championship. Aleister Black will pull out the victory in another five and a quarter star match. Jesus Christ. And they got another six points to their feud, but it blew off, so whatever. Beautiful. Nothing really happened down here. Yeah, they had a five or sorry, four and three quarter star match. Iron Man match increased for this event. Perfect. Uh, Alistair Black put Kevin Owens through the announce table with an elbow drop from the top row. Fans are going crazy. You got 30 bucks and Alistair Blank, Black <laughs> gain overness of 33%. Jesus. Okay. I try to talk too fast sometimes and I just can't even get the words as fast as my brain is going. Jesus. Okay. And in the main event for the World Championship, the NXT World Championship in a street fight, we got Biggie versus Braun Strowman versus Adam Cole. Ba -ba -bay -bay. And add finish i know this one has not been done yet so i'm going to do a little cheatski weetski and braun Strowman is going to retain his title with a little bit of cheatski weekski jesus that would have been a oh okay that would have been i don't know if i should have done that jesus that would have been a five and six and a quarter star yes yeah, it would have been six and a quarter star i think that would have been my highest rated match um Damn, okay, whatever. We lost half star because of cheating. Uh, new challenger feud between Braun Strowman and Adam Cole became hot. So that feud became hot before Big E's feud with Braun Strowman. Okay, so that might change plans now a little bit. I don't think it should. What was I going to say? Yeah, I said I was going to tell you guys something. So I can't... Uh, so, so the way this match was going to go is I wanted Braun Strowman to pin Adam Cole. Uh, so by cheating uh so biggie never got pinned he can get another title match in the future and then adam cole can have a rematch tomorrow night because he was cheating so i was gonna have a world championship match on nxt tv and then blow off their feud and then biggie and braun Strowman can continue their one-on-one -on -one feud so i don't know if i should do that now because their feud became hot but i don't know if i want to do another triple threat match next pay-per-view hmm. maybe i can run two feuds at once and just have one of them pay off at the pay-per-view i don't know we'll see we'll see what happens okay that's fine i don't even need to write anything so that's good um i think this pay-per-view ended up really well i think we got five stars despite this main event package at the beginning i gotta stop with the main event package okay it added 10 to the feud so that's probably why it got hot but then it also took down so maybe that so i think i've said this before but maybe that's a trade-off 
you get a lot you get points of the feud but you're gonna lose some stars on the show uh new challenge yeah i already read that street fight match effects increase okay perfect so let's see what we ended up getting i think we got five stars but let's find out blah, 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 yeah five stars 190 bucks okay what did everyone else do okay we came second place in buys that's uh annoying we got seven thousand fans uh new japan world tag league got also five stars and gained six thousand fans uh, uh stardom with year and climax gained four four thousand fans god i can't speak and four and a qu three quarter stars winter is coming from aew got five stars and gained only 200 fans wow uh smackdown tlc lost fans and raw wow with a four and a half star show good for raw that's been their like highest rated show in a long time uh, but they still lost 8,000 fans, despite only having half a star lower than the top show. I guess that's just their reputation now. <laughs> um, but SmackDown lost 9,000, Raw lost 8,000 fans. Yeah, so let's read the news, finally. No sale. Negotiation to buy Raw have appeared to have fallen through. It seems the worst is... Uh oh, so Raw's coming back again. So I was I wanted to buy Raw, but I didn't have the level 3 facility, so they wouldn't let me. But it would have been cool if I could buy Raw. Maybe next year or something. Maybe they'll do bad again. World Tag League goes beyond the hype. Good for them. Ready to return. Smojo is ready to... Why is it always New Japan news? It's always New Japan news. There's... Do I have to, like, scroll through or something? Like, is this... <sighs> so weird. Uh, recovery finish for Eddie Edwards. World Tag Team. Tag League is a great match. World Tag League is a great match. Now Rose and Oscar is a great match. Uh, match of the year contender blah 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 okay nothing that important so i don't know why it's always about new japan and nowhere else okay let's look at the emails the following the following part-timers have signed on for limited appearances this year tommy dreamer two appearances randy orton six appearances okay tommy dreamer don't give a crap be a part-timer. Your tag team's done now. Jeff Hardy's going to probably get a push. Randy Orton, that's a kick in the in the nards. In the nards. Uh, him, having him go in part-time is kind of annoying. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Uh, I guess I, that's one more main eventer gone now. Or not gone, but just I'm not going to put a title on him now because it's hard. Because the appearances don't just count pay-per-views right it's any appearance so i can't even like build a feud with him and book him on like weekly tv i don't know following superstars i think about retiring tommy dreamer following superstars i think about braun Strowman, Shayna baszler jeff hardy frankie kazarian <sighs> okay Shayna baszler braun Strowman. that's a hit jeff hardy i guess you just lost your push that i just mentioned that you might get damn that's annoying okay why is braun braun Strowman's not that old is he i don't know i thought he was in his like late 30s i guess that's old i don't know okay whatever that's fine i guess they're not part-timers for now so let's use them while i can but shane and baszler's still injured so annoying trait loss i was doing some checkup and noticed something about frankie kazarian he's no longer seems to have tag team specialists don't care don't care never booked him before i was doing some check Hogi Maccabi, no, don't care. Don't, I've never booked him either. The following superstars have come part timers, yes. Togi Maccabi has, okay, retired, fine. I'm glad you signed me. Looking forward to what we have planned. Okay, there we go. We got, um, we got Peyton Royce on our roster now. Thank God. Finally, <laughs> a long time coming. I don't, uh, I've come down with a bad case of the flu. I don't think I'm available to work this month. I don't know who you are. Are you the doctor? No, Dr. Simpson. So I don't know who Lucas is. Oh, he's the recruiter, isn't he? That's annoying. I managed to successfully... Yeah, he is. I managed to successfully recruit uh, Shotzi Blackfart. Blackfart? <laughs> Blackfart, and she is now available to sign in the indies. Have a look at her basic info I compiled for you and see if you want to sign her. Uh, due to development behind the scenes, W Raw is no longer available for buyout. Okay, don't care. Do I not have new goals or something oh our truth retired too i thought i'm supposed to get new goals for the year maybe it's after new year's evil oh this is still december oh it's not the end of the year yet oh new year's evil is at the beginning of january so that's so maybe after new year's evil is going to be the last one. Oh, biggie versus braun Strowman is hot as well and it's uh, above adam cole okay okay i don't know what i'm gonna do <laughs> you guys gotta stay tuned for next time but before i do that sorry one last thing I know I'm dragging this out, but I just need to see my roster. Um, I need to do managers, actually. Kurt Angle and 
Peyton Royce. Beautiful. Okay, so she is yeah, Crit Angle is now managing Peyton Royce, which will hopefully give her a boost. Um, so she's someone I want to start pushing. The only issue is I don't know if I have enough room on the card to push her and do all my feuds. So I, I might be wary of that. Uh, another thing I wanted to do uh, in these Shotzi Blackheart. Let me negotiate with you. 350. I'm gonna save 25 bucks. I'll accept those terms. Perfect. So do I need to do I need to pay 100 bucks? So what if I go back? Oh, so she's just so I have to send. I have to pay 100 bucks to send her to the main roster. Did I get her? I. I'll accept that she accepted my terms, right? I have Shotzi Blackheart. Oh god. Okay, and one other thing I have to do is go to uh, P uh Billy K. Billy K recruit. Yeah, so my freaking staff person is is injured or sick or something. He's somehow sick for a month. Idiot. This episode is dragging on, but that was NXT Takeover the end. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So I guess the next episode is going to be our year-end thing where we get new goals and stuff, or the episode after that. I don't really know. I'm I'm still figuring out this game, guys. In the meantime, thank you so much for stopping by, guys. Hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. It does help me out a lot. Also, right underneath me, there is a subscribe button. If you guys want to click that to get notified whenever I release videos, so you do not miss one. And then over on the right, if you guys want to keep watching, we've got some more videos there. Thanks so much, guys.